Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Sumner Hobart. I'm an actual Amazon seller that actually gets results with my own Amazon PPC efforts and I help other Amazon sellers, no matter how big or small the budget is, to generate significantly more profitable results through Amazon PPC and other advertising efforts. Today, we're gonna to be discussing headline search ads. So what the heck are headline search ads? How do they work? And most importantly, how can you set up highly profitable headline search ads for your own Amazon brand? So let's go ahead and get to it. So first, here's what headline search ads are. Here's just kind of one example of what they can look like. Just pull this from Google. And you've likely seen these if you go to Amazon and type in any kind of product related keyword, there's a good chance that you'll see kind of this, uh, an example of this headline search ad right there at the top. So kind of right there at the headline, um, right, you know, kind of after you search. And a few elements here. So one, we see the um, where usually the logo would be, and it looks like they had kind of have this green um, cr uh, cross, this green bag uh, headline right there: crossbody bags, hands-free organization, and then three products uh, that are being advertised. So three products headline, and usually a logo, which I'll show you kind of where to set that up and how that works. Um, so that's kind of what it is. Um, but in order to be eligible to create headline search ads for yourself, um, you need to be number one brand registered. And then number two, have at least three products. Now, this doesn't mean you have to have three completely separate products. This means you could have one product that you're selling on Amazon that has at least three variations. You need at least three in order to create and set up headline search ads. So I just wanna kinda of say that at the outset. And the reason for this is, um, with brand registry, headline search ads are under the sponsored brand ads category. So if you're familiar at all with Amazon PPC, there are three main um, categories for advertising. There's sponsored product ads, also known as SPA, sponsored brand ads, known as SBA, and um, sponsored display ads, known as SDA. Headline search ads are an ad type under the sponsored brand ad um, kind of category, okay? And because of that, then you need to be brand registered. That's just kind of what Amazon requires. So two things, because sellers need to be brand registered to utilize headline search ads, and because there's a little bit of kind of um, creative involved, this is a less utilized ad type than sponsored product ads, which means with higher barriers to entry, there's a lot of opportunity. So headline search ads are some of my own and some of my clients' most profitable ads and can be for you, no guarantees, uh, but definitely worth testing. And I'm actually gonna run through how you can set up yours in your own uh, Seller Central account starting right now today and start generating some profitable results soon. So step number one, go to your Seller Central account, log in to Campaign Manager, Next, you're gonna click on the Create Campaign button, which you should be familiar with if you set up campaigns in the past. Then you wanna make sure that you go to the Sponsored Brands category and then click Continue, okay? Because that's where we're gonna find Headline Search Ads, also known as HSA. Next, we'll, when we're setting up our campaign, go ahead and give your campaign a name. This is just one general um, you know, kind of guide that you can follow. Product name dash, uh, should be Headline Search Ad, so HSA, not SHA, I do that all the time. And then a dash, exact. Uh, I'll cover that a little bit more later, but name the campaign, whatever you like. Select a portfolio. So I like to have um, multiple portfolios, one portfolio per product type. Um, if you're not really familiar with portfolios, just skip over it, not a big deal. It's just for organizational purposes. Select a start date and an end date if you like. Daily budget. Um, Again, it completely depends on your business goals. I like to start with at least five to $20 per day, depending on my product, uh, just to, to, to begin and kind of start running a test. Next, uh, Amazon will require you to select an ad format. Um, so for headline search ads, you're gonna wanna select product collection. And then in this section, you have two options here. You can either have Amazon create a new landing page or you can utilize your Amazon store. So number one, if you don't already have an Amazon store, you wanna select new landing page because you don't have an Amazon store. Number two, even if you do have an Amazon store, um, based on a lot of research, and I still have limited testing, not statistically significant yet, uh, but it found that, that potentially using the new landing page option over the Amazon store um, option will ultimately convert better. Um, and there's some reasons for that that I won't get into too much detail, but it's ultimately up to you. if. And basically the difference is your Amazon store um, is your Amazon store, which you should be pretty familiar with if you have one. Uh, and then new landing page is basically this very simple basic landing page that contains your three uh, products that you're gonna be advertising in this campaign. Okay, so again, if you wanna keep it simple, just select new landing page and continue, but it's ultimately up to you, whatever is best. Enter in at least three products that you wanna advertise. These can either be separate products or three variation products. 
Next, Amazon will ask you to enter in some creative, which I would definitely recommend. Well, first of all, you kind of have to, but utilize all of the creative aspects here that Amazon allows, right? Kind of utilize all that ad real estate that you can. So first you need to enter in your brand name and your logo. Amazon will tell you the correct dimensions and file type for your logo. Uh, and then of course, enter in your brand name, pretty straightforward. Next, enter in a headline, very important, okay? This headline is gonna help you stand out from your competitors. Do something creative, okay? And what you can do is just Google, or not Google, but um, go into Amazon and search for your product terms in some different ways. So for example, let's say I'm selling a taco holder. Maybe I'll type in taco holder, taco stand, dino taco holder, um, taco accessories, right? Things like this to try to trigger some different headline search ads from my competitors and look at the copy that they're using. Look at what their headlines say. And usually I like to do kind of maybe one of three things or even test between the two, but just keep it simple. So number one, speak like a human. Um, that's going to connect and resonate a lot more. So use human language. So for example, better, better taco holder here, right? We have a better taco holder. So why would you go anywhere else? Um, something like that, right? Much more human. And you have a total of 50 characters to utilize. So you can utilize up to that 50 characters or whatever makes sense. But usually I like to utilize more characters than less. Um, so for example, better taco holder here. Maybe there's a certain benefit um, about your taco holder that you know, what's your unique selling proposition? What makes you better than all of your competitors? That's really great to have in your headline here. If there's any maybe specific endorsements um, from any organizations, that could work really well. And it's really endless, but just use your common sense and think about what is important to your customer, not what you think is important to them. What is actually important to them? What do they actually care about when looking for products? That's what you're going to include um, here. And again, be creative, uh, maybe even make them laugh. That's going to, that can convert really well. Um, so benefits based, right? Maybe something like spice up taco night, um, or, you know, spice up your next taco night, something like that. Just be a little bit more creative, but not a big deal. Just put something in there. Done is better than perfect. So once you fill out the headline, you also have an option to upload a custom image, which I would definitely recommend that you utilize if you have this option. Basically what this means is that, uh, your headline search ad is also visible on mobile as well as desktop. And on mobile, you can actually have an additional image along with all the other creative, along with your headline, your logo, your brand name, um, and the rest of your ad. And I definitely recommend that you utilize that because that's going to help you stand out and ultimately potentially increase your click through rate and ultimately sales and profitability and all that good stuff. So what should I include for my custom image summoner? Well, what I recommend doing is using a lifestyle image because your customers already or your um, prospect is already going to see your um, kind of white background images, right? A, a, an image with your product, white background, that's already gonna be on the ad. So I don't recommend using that. I recommend doing something a little bit um, different that's gonna stand out. And I found that lifestyle images tend to perform really, really well. Basically, and what I mean by that is, kind of your customer, someone like your customer, using and enjoying your product, you know, smiling, having a great time, using your product. And again, Amazon will tell you the exact dimensions. Uh, if you're a bootstrap entrepreneur like I am, I uh, don't have a team on board. I like to use Canva for creating my um, a lot of my graphics. So I'll use Canva, set up the right dimensions, and I might use one or two of my images, kind of put them there into Canva, make it look nice and pretty, and then use that. Uh, literally just takes me a few minutes. And if you don't have any lifestyle images, which you should with your Amazon listing, very easy, just one little kind of side hack or something. And I do this with a lot of my advertising and marketing efforts is I will, you know, give my product away for free uh, to a variety of Instagram influencers in return for maybe some lifestyle images. And you'd be surprised by the amount of phenomenal, amazing images that you can get for the landed cost of your product. So if you have a 20, you know, if your landed costs are, for example, $4, um, and you're basically giving your product away uh, $4.50 with the Amazon removal order in return for like a few amazing lifestyle images, very well worth it. Take one of those lifestyle images, plug it in here, and you're good to go. Uh, that's what I'd recommend. Uh, so that pretty much concludes the creative section. Next is targeting. So you have the option to target specific keywords or products. So I'd recommend setting up two separate campaigns. You're going to have one headline search ad campaign for keyword targeting and one for product targeting. For your keyword targeting, I found that exact match tends to perform the best. So just an idea for you, and again, it's ultimately up to you. Create one exact match keyword targeting headline search ad campaign, and then go back through this whole process and set up a separate um, campaign specifically for product targeting. And if you're curious about what keywords or products could perform well, well, what you can do is pull a search term report, 
look at the past 60 days or if it's your first time pulling a search term report just look at the past you know lifetime as far as you can go and identify any keywords or product targets that have generated at least one sale over the past for example 60 days uh, copy them and then paste them here into it paste all the keywords here into your keyword targeting campaign find those ASINs and then copy those into your product targeting headline search ad campaign because those are likely going to perform well because you already have the data to show that um, they've generated at least one sale so that's with search term reports um, if you don't really know how to pull a search term report or anything let me know uh, if I get enough comments maybe I'll make a video about that but um, uh, pretty simple to do and definitely should be utilizing your search term reports um, and if you're just starting off creating a new campaign then maybe whatever keywords you're already targeting with your exact match campaign Go ahead and take those um, keywords from your maybe you know your exact match um, sponsored product ads and put them into your um, exact match headline search ad campaign. So if you already have an exact match campaign, find those keywords. Maybe use those same keywords. Is what I'm saying. If it's a brand new campaign, hopefully that makes sense. I know I'm talking fast because I'm trying to get through this um, efficiently for you. Next up. Uh, Amazon has the option of automated bidding. I don't generally recommend this. Why? Because I like to have control over my Amazon PPC campaigns. Uh, Amazon wants to spend your money, not get you results. You want to get results. So there's kind of a conflict of interest there. Amazon just wants to spend your money and doesn't really care one way or the other. Not too much. So uh, I recommend turning this off. I think by default, it will be on automatically. Um, this just kind of takes control away from Amazon and gives it to you. Otherwise, you could find that these campaigns are not that profitable um, and that could be one of the reasons why. So turn off automated bidding is my recommendation. And then also you see right there, um, set a custom bid adjustment. I recommend um, leaving this blank to begin with. Uh, you can definitely utilize bid adjustments and I do for my own campaigns. Uh, basically, it's increasing your, your bid by up to a certain percentage. Um, if there's a likely to get a sale, you know, kind of for that placement, okay? So, like I said, generally, I, I recommend leaving it blank to begin with because you don't have enough data yet to influence your decision for placement data. So, to leave it blank. Um, I may make a video actually about placement uh, optimization for Amazon PPC campaigns specifically. Uh, nothing yet, still experimenting with a few things. So, just leave it blank, all right? Next, you're going to enter a list uh, for your keywords. Set a custom bid. Uh, look at kind of what your other campaigns are performing well and maybe use that. You can also look at Amazon's suggested bid as well. Um, though I kind of find that it's hit or miss sometimes. So if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, if your goal is to kind of maybe increase rank, um, to really generate more sales, to generate reviews, uh, then maybe you want to be a little bit more aggressive and go toward that high Amazon suggested bid and start around there. If you want to be a little bit more conservative and you're just like, hey, Sumner, I just want to test this ad type to see if it's actually profitable, uh, then maybe you want to start a little bit lower, maybe like around, I don't know, 50 cents, though it completely depends on your product category um, and, and a variety of other factors, like level of competition with your keywords and a lot of other things. So um, just set a bid, whatever is, it's ultimately up to you. For match type, like I said, I found that exact performs the best. So um, usually I like to kind of test in all match types. Uh, but I'm kind of crazy and I have like a ton of campaigns all running and, and um, if you want to keep it simple for your kind of keyword HSA campaign, um, keep it as exact. Like I said, tend to perform better for myself and my clients. So uh, that's what we found. And then go ahead and enter in your keywords. Once you do that, you have the last option to negate any keywords. This would make sense if you're using a phrase or a broad match campaign. But if you're using the exact match campaign and if there's any keywords you don't want to target, just don't add them uh, those keywords into your campaign. So usually I leave this blank, hit next, and then you're ready to submit for review. So go ahead and if you're ready to go, submit for review. Keep in mind, Amazon does have a review process because there is that headline and that image that you're utilizing potentially. Um, with the beta. So Amazon's going to take a little bit to actually finalize and approve your ad. So just keep in mind, it won't necessarily go uh, up and live within a few minutes. It may take a little bit of time. And depending on the you know time of year and, and a lot of other factors, I found that it varies by quite a bit, usually not too long. And once it, go, once it launches, it's ready to go. Start generating some clicks and sales. Uh, start optimizing your campaign. And like I said, um, headline search ad campaigns are some of my most profitable as well as my clients most profitable campaigns. So definitely recommend that every single Amazon seller that has this option to utilize. And then lastly, just two quick things. If you like the video, uh, I have a lot other Amazon PPC videos currently on the channel and a lot more coming very, very soon. I do my best to be as in-depth and give away as much free info as possible here on the channel. And there's more coming very, very soon. So be sure to subscribe, like the video so you don't miss out on those. 
Uh, and then last, lastly, is for those of you who really want to scale up your Amazon PPC efforts, who really want to see significantly more profitable results and significantly uh, better results from your Amazon PPC spend and efforts, uh, then I highly recommend checking out my very affordable Amazon PPC course on Udemy and Skillshare. Super affordable, extremely in-depth. Uh, I've helped literally hundreds of other Amazon sellers uh, Long story, but basically I've been burned by Amazon PPC agencies in the past, Amazon PPC tools. I've taken all of my learnings, just sat down, figured it out for myself. And really, Amazon PPC is not that difficult. It's a lie if anyone tells you it is. It's not. You can get great results um, uh, in a variety of ways. It's a tool that can be used in many, many ways. And I cover all those ways here in this course as simply and effectively as possible from one Amazon seller to another. So I uh, hope you found the video helpful. Like I said, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll have a link to the course. Uh, and some other stu good stuff in the description section. So be sure to check that out. And um, like I said, hope you found it valuable. As always, thank you so much for your support. God bless and look forward to seeing you in future videos.